I've been interested in seeing that film for a while now. While the road trip plot was nothing out of the ordinary, the way the characters expressed... When the main character left everything behind to go on a journey... <sighs> and then in the final scene, he decided to return to his normal life. Say, have you ever thought of running away to a place like... Somewhere far away... I see. I'm not saying I wish to... It's just that... Every now and then... The future of the company... Sometimes I even wish that I wasn't shackled by the... <sighs> I know. I understand that I can't afford to... Th Listen to me complaining like this. How pathetic. Talking to you has become something of an outlet for me. <laughs> I'm sure you're sick of it by now. Yes, that wasn't very big. Well, I know how understanding you are. There's something I'd... <sighs> Hypothetically, let's say that I was... I knew I could never be with him, but even so, I couldn't... Would that be... Uh, keep in... Uh, up to me. Ah, uh, there you are. Hey, Mitsuru! I've been looking all over for you, so this is where you've been. Come on, let's go. What? Wait a minute. Uh, I didn't make any plans with you for today. What does it matter? I managed to secure an opening in my schedule tonight. I'm a very busy man, you know. As a simple student, you're just going to have to work around it. I can't. I've already made plans. Do you know how long I spent looking for you? Don't tell me you have something more important to do than spend time with me. <sighs> Why the long face? You're supposed to be my fiancé, you know. Honestly, I thought you understood our arrangement. If you're going to be my future wife, you'll need to learn some obedience. Why must you and your family always be so difficult? Well, at least your father's not around anymore, so that's something of a relief. I imagine you feel the same. What? How dare you say that? Thank you. Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Get lost. Come on, Mitsuru. You know how this works. Corporate management is not child's play. No matter how smart you are, you're still going to need my knowledge and experience. And the Kirijo Group still needs the cooperation of my company. Doesn't it? <sighs> yes. Good girl, Mitsuru. I knew you would listen to reason. Now, let's go. I've made reservations for us at a luxurious restaurant. All right. I wish you hadn't seen that. Thank you for today. It was quite fun. I'm sorry, really. Please excuse me. Well, 
I mean... Come on, Mitsuru, hurry up. By the way, you! Who do you think you are worming your way into her favor? You ought to know your place in society. A commoner like you isn't even fit to breathe the same air. Don't you understand? You're just a nuisance. <laughs> and there's a world of difference between you and us. Mitsuru, take care not to associate with his kind anymore. Enough. Mitsuru? I said that's enough! I won't let you insult him! W what? W why are you getting so angry? This is someone I have a great deal of respect for. If you insult him, you insult me! M Mitsuru? W what are you saying? You would side with him over me? You said there was a world of difference between you and him. Well, you're right. You can't compare to him at all. He stands on his own two feet, challenging fate with his own strength of will. Seeing his outlook on life has inspired and influenced me countless times. I... I... I want to be with him. Now... And forever. You want to be with him? Now and forever? What are you trying to say? You're supposed to be my fiancé! Are you implying I'm beneath this nobody? Take that back this instant, Mitsuru! It's not too late to ask for forgiveness. Think about the future of your company. I will not apologize. I want to be with him. You're not the one supporting me in my time of need. The group will do just fine on its own. We don't need help from a weasel like you. As of today, we'll have nothing to do with each other. And if you dare to attempt some petty retaliation, then next time you'll have the full might of the group to contend with. Get out of here, you Philistine! I don't want to see your face ever again! <sighs> Grandpa! Grandpa! <sighs> I... I... 